Question C34. Um, January 2019, question 7, part A. Um, we have a diagram, a figure, which shows a sketch of a part, a sketch of part of the curve with equation y equals x plus 7 over the root of 2x minus 3. x must be greater than 3 over 2 two reasons. One, it should it, it can't be equal to 3 over 2, otherwise this will become 0. And it can't be less than 3 over 2, otherwise this will be the square root of a negative number. In both cases it will be undefined, so x must be greater than 3 over 2. That doesn't really affect our question in terms of what we have to do, it's just... <coughs> anyway, the region R, shown shaded in figure 1, is bounded by the curve, the line with the equation x equals 4, the x-axis, and the line with the equation x equals 6. Use the trapezium rule with four strips of equal width to find an estimate for the area of R, giving your answer to two decimal places. So basically what they want us to do here, and you don't actually have to draw this, but I just want to illustrate to you what's happening. Um, they want us to basically split this up into four different, four different um, strips Okay, let me just make that thinner, sorry. Yeah, so you're going to have one, two, three. Okay, so four, they should really be equal. I mean, I've just drawn them roughly, so they're not really that equal. Anyway, uh, they're four strips of equal width. So basically, that you're basically causing four trapeziums here. Okay, four trapeziums. One, two, three, four. And if they're equal in width, then this distance between six and four is divided exactly into four equal parts. So you have six, you have six minus, so six minus four divided by four. So six minus four divided by four is going to be 0 0.5. So each width, each of these widths is 0.5. So the width of each of these is 0 0.5, you can say 0 0.5. Okay, so basically what we're do, going to do here is we're going to find what y is when x is 4, when, what y is when x is 4.5, what y is when x is 5, when what y is when x is 5.5, what, what, what y is when x is 6, to find the heights of each of these parts. And you're going to basically deal with these as trapeziums. That's why we're using the trapezium rule. So we're going to end up having one, two, three, four trapeziums. And the area of those four trapeziums would approximately be the same as the area of this under this curve. Okay, it won't exactly be the same, but it's a good approximation. So that's what we have to do. We have to put in the value of x equals 4, 4.5, 5, 5.5 5 and 6 into this equation and see what comes up with y and then use that to work out our uh, approximate area. So I'm going to, to make a little table here. So I'll need my x and my y and I'll need 5 ordinates. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5. Okay, that's what I need. Let's move this. It doesn't want to move. Okay. Okay, so we have our table. We have x. We have our x values, which, as we said, were they started from um, four. We had four point five. We had five, five point five. And we had six, and we want to find the y value when we put them into this equation. So we can just use the calculator for that. Okay, so what we can do is we can say um, 4 plus 7, well, let me do it as a fraction, 4 plus 7 divided by the square root of 2 times 4 plus or minus 3. What am I doing? Sorry. So 4 plus 7 divided by the square root of 2 times 4 minus 3. Okay, so that's going to give you the answer 11 root 5 over 5. 
So I'm going to actually write it like this so that I can have a more exact answer before I round. So 11 root 5 over 5. I'll write it in this exact form if I can possibly do so. Now I need to change that 4, the 4s here, into 4.5s. So I can go back and make that 4.5 and go back up there and make that 4.5. See what comes out, 23 root 6 over 12, so 23 times root 6 over 12. I could write it to a certain number of decimal places, which should be more than 2, but I can write it in the exact form as well, so why not? Okay, then we got 5, so we're going to replace that 4.5 with 5. And I get 12 root 7 over 7, 12 root 7, oops. Pen's playing up now. 12 root 7 over 7. 7 over 7. Let's say the screw of 7. And then I'm going to go back and put 5.5. .5. So make that 5.5. .5. Which gives us 25 root 2 over 8. 25 root 2 over 8 and then finally with 6 we go back and change that 5.5 .5 to a 6 and the same up here so we end up here with 13 over 3 okay because that gave us 12 Give us a nine there so that we can exact. Okay, good. So now we have um, what we need. Now, one thing I would like you to realize is when we find the area of the first trapezium, remember the area of a trapezium, the area of a trapezium is given by the distance between the parallel sides times the sum of the parallel sides. So the distance between the parallel sides is the, the h here, which is our 0.5. This is the distance between the parallel sides. Okay. And the when you find the area of the first trapezium, you're going to use this side and this side to find its area. Okay, so it will be 0 0.5 times uh, 0 0.5 over 2 times this height um, plus that height. When you find the area of the second trapezium, you're going to be using this and this as a parallel sides, and the third one, this and this as a parallel sides, and the fourth one, this and that as a parallel sides. So you'll notice that this line. This line and that line um, are used in this trapezium's area and also in this trapezium's area. And this line, okay, in these two trapezium's area, and this line in these two trapezium's area, but the first and the last are only used in one trapezium's area. That's why there's a formula in the book, but, um, you know, after a while you won't have to really use it. Basically, you're going to have the distance between the parallel sides, which is 0 0.5, divided by 2, times the sum of the parallel sides. So I've got to... Remember, this and this are going to be used once. So I'm going to write 11 root 5 over 5 plus 13 over 3. Those will be used once. So I'll write them before the rest. And then I'm going to have 2 times the sum of the other ones in between because those are used twice. 23 root 6 over 12 plus 12 root 7 over 7 plus 25 root 2, was it 25? 25 root 2 over 8. My pen messed up there. Let me just confirm that in case it's a mistake. I don't want to make a silly mistake there. 5.5 and go back there and you're going to have 5.5. Yeah, 25 root 2 over 8. Okay, I could have actually saved each of these values in my calculator, but didn't bother anyway so let's now stick this all into my calculator and then give the answer to two decimal places in the end so we're going to have 0 0.5 over 2 okay you're going to multiply that by you're going to have 11 root 5 over 5 plus 13 over 3. Okay, plus, and you're going to have 2 times, so I'm going to open a bracket, 
23 root 6 over 12. 23 root 6 over 12. Plus, we're going to have 12 root 7 over 7. Plus, I'm going to have 25 root 2 over 8. Oops. Um, over 8. Close the bracket, both brackets. 1, 2. And that gives me 9 9.13809. 9.13809. 9.13809 which we asked to round that to two decimal places so that gives you 9.14 square units okay so that's part a of this question